Did you know that you've been creating your audio spectrums the wrong way? Hold on, hold on, not the wrong way, but I bet you didn't know there was a different way than what you're used to. Everybody already knows about the spectrum effect and setting your music and blah, 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 but if you wanted a super custom way to make your audio spectrum, like what we created for our new AI voiceover feature, then you're gonna wanna stick around because I'm gonna show you how to create some of the exact same spectrums that we're using here, and none of them require any plugins, so let's dive in. First up, let's recreate the circular quarter section audio spectrum. It's super cool looking, but if you tried to do it the old fashioned way with the spectrum effect, creating a circle, you're gonna notice that you have really chaotic segments and it's not got this perfect curvature like we have here. So what's the secret? Well, let's place down our audio and find out, but I actually don't have any right now. So I'm quickly gonna make some by using our new AI voiceover generator. I'm just gonna select one, type in what I want it to say, and then click generate. We're going to learn how to create a custom audio spectrum effect in After Effects. That sounds great. So I'm just going to download it, drag it into After Effects, and place it down into my composition. Now here's the secret. Right click on this audio layer, go up to Keyframe Assistant, and select Convert Audio to Keyframes. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this is a thing. Basically, it takes the height of your audio peaks at each keyframe and uses a number to represent it. But what can you actually do with this? Because these keyframes aren't doing anything yet. First, let's just delete the left and the right channels here so that we only have the both channels. This just keeps things a little bit simpler. Now let's jump in and create a circle with our shape tool. And we can hold down shift to make sure that it's nice and symmetrical. Make sure that it's set to fill and I'll keep it at pure black. Now let's take the position parameter of this circle and you can click the pick whip icon here beside it and parent it to the keyframes of the both channel that we created here. Just note that you have to parent it to the slider inside of it. Now, when you play back, you get this. We're gonna learn how to create a custom audio spectrum effect in After Effects. The circle is moving and reacting in perfect sync with the voice. But how do we turn this into this? Well, we actually already showed you the method a few years ago in this video, and it's way easier than you'd think. Let's create a second circle, except add a stroke and just remove the fill layer. Center it in the frame using the align feature, and now we can just adjust the first circle so that it's just outside of the second circle when it's quiet, and so that it enters in when it's moving. But in order to get this morphing stretching look, we need to add two effects. First, add an adjustment layer and make sure that it's on top of everything. Now we're gonna add the Gaussian blur effect and the simple choker effect in that order. Set the Gaussian blur and the simple choker to both be 50 and we get a missing circle. But if we highlight the stroke circle again and then increase the stroke width, we can see it come back into existence. Now we can see that the circles are morphing into each other and you can see the basis of this effect. Now, if you notice that your circle isn't moving enough to actually do anything, you can adjust that by going down to the position parameters that we linked to the keyframes. You should know that there's an expression involved if it's red. Drop this down and now we can actually edit the expression. And we're just gonna simply add at the very end here, star, which means multiply. And then we're gonna add an open bracket and the number that we wanna multiply it by. So if I put two here, for example, our circle is gonna have twice the amount of movement as before. That's still not gonna be enough for me, so I'm gonna do something like five. That's about right for me. And already our effect is looking amazing. Now we just need to pre-compose all of these layers and move the attributes to a new composition. Now we can add a simple circular mask, holding shift again to make sure that it's perfectly circular, move it to the center of frame, and if it's not quite the perfect size, we can flip down these menus here until we get to expand mask, and then increase or decrease it as needed. Then if you want to change what direction it's actually moving from, we can just rotate this around until we get the angle that we want. Let's turn off the transparent background to add a nice colored background. And finally, we've got this. We're gonna learn how to create a custom audio spectrum effect in After Effects. This looks awesome to me. And in just a couple minutes, we've perfectly recreated the super stylish designer audio spectrum. And if you wanted to swap out your audio for another track, you actually don't have to reanimate everything. All you have to do is drop in the new track, convert the audio to keyframes again, then choose the new amplitude, hit enter, copy the name, and paste the new name in between these quotes here. And immediately you'll have the new track impacting the animation of our audio spectrum. 
And in my case, because the only difference in these names is the number two, just removing or adding this two is all I need to do to swap the animation between these two audio tracks. And the great news is that now you know how to do this one, you actually know the entire process for how to create this one, and this one, and this one too. It's just a different number of circles positioned in different orientations, morphing together in exactly the same way. But now let's explore one that looks entirely different. We're gonna recreate this one here. You might think that it looks entirely different, but you'd be surprised about how similar the process to create it actually is. But first, I want to get a totally different piece of audio to work with, so I'm just going to choose a new AI voiceover model and type in something new for it to say as a different track. You won't believe how easy this is to create. Awesome, that sounds great. So I'll pop that in underneath, convert the audio to keyframes, delete the left and the right channels, leaving this both channels option, now let's create a line with our shape tool by just making a really skinny rectangle. Now I'm gonna move the anchor point by selecting the anchor tool here and then just clicking and dragging it to a new position. You'll notice that it starts to snap to the sides and corners, so let's move it all the way to the bottom left corner. And now instead of parenting the position to these keyframes, I'm gonna parent the rotation. And we're already close to getting what we need. Now it's rotating the wrong way, but the easiest way to make it move the correct direction is to go into the expression here and simply add another star to multiply the expression, and we're gonna multiply it by negative one. Now we should see that it's rotating in the opposite, but correct direction. So now the fun part is because we've already set up the rotation in a consistent angle. If we duplicate this layer with Control or Command D, I'll create a few more of these, and I'm gonna add one more to the very bottom that I'm actually gonna remove the entire expression from, and this one is just gonna be the baseline that doesn't move at all. Next, I'm gonna change the number that each of these is multiplied by, like negative two, for example. We can see that we spread out multiple of these lines really quickly. And because one and two were a little too extreme, we're gonna choose numbers like 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 1.1, etc. Now, the final touch is that you can see in the original here, you can see that they all become shorter as they get more intense up the scale. And because we've already set the anchor point to be over here in the corner, if we go down to transform and move down to scale parameter, unlink it and reduce the horizontal scale, we'll shorten up that line from the right hand side only. Do this for each individual line. And with just a little bit of work, we've gone from this to this. You won't believe how easy this is to create. This process of having one parameter used to influence a movement and then duplicating it and multiplying the impact by a different amount was used in a bunch of the other custom spectrums on our voiceover page. So you can just get creative with your designs, duplicate them, and then adjust the impact to be a multiple that's just slightly different for each one. So there you go, guys. That's the secret for how to get our custom audio spectrums using a method that you might not have known about. And make sure to check out our new AI voiceover feature for yourself. I've been having a lot of fun with this feature personally, but don't take my word for it. Test it out for yourself. And if you wanted to keep growing on your After Effects journey, you can check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.